Hello, y'all. Welcome to the first digital release review of the newly branded channel. Uh, I'm a little backed up on these reviews at the moment, so bear with me if when you see some of these videos, the movies seem a little bit old. I'm only premiering one episode a week, so some of these movies are going to overlap with their release windows, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, also, before I continue, I do want to stress out that there are mild spoilers for the movies that I review, so you've been warned. Uh, today, I am going to be reviewing Pain Hustlers, uh, a movie starring Chris Evans, Andy Garcia, and Emily Blunt. Now, this movie is, they say it's based on a true story, but uh, it's loosely based on a scandal that happened with a pharmaceutical company a few years ago. Uh, basically, what they were doing is they were bribing doctors uh, to prescribe fentanyl-based drugs uh, as pain medication uh, to any patient with any pain didn't even matter if you had terminal cancer if you had a headache they would prescribe it to you and they just wanted you to come back and you get you hooked on it um so yeah people got rich from selling drugs in a legal way illegally you could say um a lot of the characters you're gonna see are completely fucking made up uh because hollywood you need to make a make a fucking story interesting for people so uh yeah a lot of these characters are made up uh you know, probably compiled off of numerous people involved in the scandal, but they're mostly fictional characters, uh, with the exception of a few that I'll mention in a bit. Um, Emily Blunt does play a stripper. She's the main character, and she plays a stripper who's down on her luck. Uh, she's living out of her with her daughter out of her sister's garage and is pretty much broke. Uh, she meets Chris Evans, who is one of these reps at this pharmaceutical company, and he offers her a job because she's pretty and she knows how to talk to people. And, uh, you know, pretty women can convince anyone to buy whatever the fuck you want. Uh, so, you know, she gets a job and she starts making money. And, uh, you know, the movie starts rolling from there. Now, Emily and Chris Evans are phenomenal in this. I, I can't even stress that enough. Their chemistry is perfect in this. Um, there isn't a single scene where, you know, whether they're together or separate, there isn't a single scene where their characters don't shine on their own. Um, it's, it's great. Uh, Chris Evans is such a fucking sleazeball. And even Emily Blunt at times is kind of also kind of a sleaze. Um, but they do add a little bit of a sympathetic, uh, element to Emily Blunt's character. Her teenage daughter has a brain tumor, so there's kind of a reason why she's doing the things she's doing. And she kind of doesn't start feeling bad until towards the end, where people that are kind of close to her, you know, start dying, and she starts feeling bad. Um, so, you know, you kind of start sympathizing for her. But in reality, all these people are fucking sleazebags, so it's, it's kind of like a whatever. Um, there is a small cameo slash small role um, from Catherine O'Hara. America's favorite mom and she actually ends up playing Emily Blunt's mom in this movie uh, She's hilarious. Uh, she's a little bit of the kind of mild comic relief in the movie She's always great on screen when she comes out and her par character actually plays a very big part in the movie uh, as far as She does something that helps take down the bad guy in this movie and the bad guy is being played by Andy Garcia the great Andy Garcia and uh, His character's name is Jack Neal and Jack Neal is the owner slash investor of this new drug. And it's actually, he his character is probably the only one that's actually real. Because his character is based on the real life subject of this movie. A man named John Kapoor, who was arrested in 2019 for this exact crime. He invented a fentanyl based drug. And him and his company were bribing, uh, his pharmaceutical company were bribing doctors all across America and making billions of dollars while people were getting fucking hooked on fentanyl. So yeah, he plays this sleazeball and he is also a comic relief in this movie. Um, he's kind of goofy at times, but he fits really well with the insanity that's, that's reflected in this movie. As the story progresses, it gets crazier and crazier and, and the problems and situations with the characters, they start intensifying. And, and, and Andy Garcia's character just goes from Kind of being sort of normal to being crazy and crazier and crazier and then completely being like this lack of emotion. You, you don't sympathize. You fucking just hate this sleazeball towards the end of the fucking movie. Um, so he, he does a pretty good job in this movie. And of course, it's Andy Garcia. He is a legend. So anything he's in is going to be phenomenal. So my final verdict. This is a great fucking movie. Uh, it's got phenomenal actors, uh, a great story. 
sprinkles of comedy here and there just the right amounts it's everything that a good hollywood flick should have uh and this wasn't even a theatrical release this is a netflix film i really recommend this if you have a netflix account of course go ahead and watch this fucking tonight or you know whenever the hell uh if you don't you can get a vpn just like everyone else does uh windscribe vpn and uh download that uh, just look at Daenerys. She loves the shit out of this movie. You have to listen to the Dragon Queen for fuck's sakes. Watch this fucking movie, Pain Hustlers. It's good. I swear it is. Um, so yeah, letting you guys know I've reviewed a lot of fucking movies uh, already. And like I said, I'm only posting one a week. So be patient. These will overlap. Uh, but here's a quick look at some of the movies that are coming up in the next coming weeks. Uh, I've watched Wonka. Unfortunately, I did watch Aquaman and uh, I also watched Book of Clarence. There's a couple of others I'm watching right now at the moment. So don't worry. They're probably just released a week or two ago. Uh, there's movies coming. Uh, if you have any requests, go ahead and put them down in the comments. I'll make sure to watch them and review them for you. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't miss the podcast on Friday. And until next time, peace.